Madhu. I'm a Twin Flame Divine Masculine. I'm going to share my experience, you know, why Divine Masculine numbs out. You know, why do they run from the connection? Or even why do Divine Masculine uh, Divine Masculines run from uh, the feelings, you know, specifically uh, it's the feeling that triggers the masculine and uh, they choose to run and uh, I will share my perspective like which were the places I chose to run from myself you know because you actually masculine uh, is not uh, actually choosing to run from the feminine uh, they are choosing to run from themselves they are choosing to run from the feelings they are experiencing it's like I was running from the feelings I was experiencing so to go into the deeper uh, I will give you a little bit uh, insight about uh, the divine masculine energy the divine masculine energy is identified as a energy of giving divine masculine is always a giving nature you can see around you know even people who are awakened masculine or even not awakened masculine you will see you know in a flow they are like naturally giving if like they are not into deep contrast you can experience most of the people like uh, that's I'm sharing because I have experienced most of the masculines around me uh, which were giving and uh, I, obviously I have experienced those giving masculine after I got my awakening before that it was mostly uh, taking nature so one thing is like they masculines are giving in nature and uh, the second dominating characteristic to identify masculine energy is their presence you know? uh, in the presence of a awakened masculine you will feel safe and secured it's like you know things are being taken care you know if if this person is there things are going to be get done it's, not, it's like that it's like if they are present there it will be done and how feminine are going to experience this you know once you come into your uh, come out of the separation and you start coming closer to each other you will start feeling very safe and secure with your masculine uh, it's a presence of as they keep choosing their masculinity they will not run they will stay present with their feeling and that's what is going to be experienced by you by feeling safe and secure uh, around them feeling protected because of that presence that's how it is and uh, these are the dominating characteristics to recognize whether the person is a uh, masculine energy or a feminine energy I will make a different video for uh, going deeper into the feminine energy this is uh, like I want to mostly share like uh, why do they run you know when these awakened qualities are like sounding like uh, really divine then when they uh, start experiencing uh, the twin flame connection why do they run you know why do they run uh, so to go deeper within that it was like uh, I'll give my example it was like for me when I started experiencing the connection uh, like when I start establishing or awakened to my masculinity and I got to know about my divine feminine uh, what triggered most is the my awareness you know? like what I understand you, know, you can see in your mas- like uh, divine masculine the same uh, because they have been nurtured or they have been programmed or they have been uh, cultured throughout uh, their childhood and through the education and they are with some set of understanding or some set of belief 
and they have been giving uh, to the world from that belief okay like i have been giving my action and everything from the belief what i have i have learned okay and the moment you i came to the awareness uh, about my masculinity uh, like the place from where i was giving which was misaligned that was like uh, very triggering to my ego you know that actually triggers the ego of masculinity it's like you know like you know poking at the you know at the exact point you, you know that's what actually feminine does that's why they run uh, the feminine actually recognize uh, uh, this is where the misaligned belief is and the feminine if she is in her power she doesn't you know run she will poke or she will point out the misaligned belief and the moment uh, uh, the feminine does that uh then that makes the masculine feel upset because that challenges uh his belief you know and once uh, and uh, and then what uh, what comes up is like you know like i have been giving with that belief that means i have been giving something that was wrong and which was very uh, uh, very unacceptable to the masculines and that's why they try to run that's why they try to run so in that situation for feminine you don't have to worry you know you don't have to worry about the upset that your masculine is experiencing uh, they know how to handle their upset you just stand in your truth uh, you uh, stand in the truth of god you know when you are aligned to love you stay in uh, that power the masculine will uh, run but that is why there is nothing to worry about because uh, they at that moment they could see their part within them uh, which is true okay which is actually true they know that within themselves and as it is not matching with the belief with their belief and uh, that's what triggered them uh, but you know they will run with that misbelief and it's not going to help them on for them and naturally when they see you know nothing is working out with that belief they naturally returns back returns back to the home because the thing that you have pointed out is the truth and that truth is within them as well they are a divine not divine masculines are divine being so they recognize truth very well so they recognize that within themselves and they uh, accept they accept uh, that truth uh, that they accept their truth within them and once they aligned uh, to the truth once they aligned to the love uh, so they start giving exponentially you know whatever they have been giving before from a place of uh, fear from a place of separation consciousness which was not you know returning back in a healthy way and now they after recognizing after recognizing the truth within them they initiate the giving from the place of love and from the place of god from the place of union with god and actually at that point it returns back you know they the acceptance is higher there and when they understand that cycle like the cycle of giving from a place of love and the receiving of support and love uh, then uh, they break the uh, numbing out to love they break that numbing out to love so it's a natural process and uh, there is uh, there is like nothing to worry about why they they are running from the feelings that uh, they are experiencing with you uh, they know how to handle it and uh, the truth has its own power you know uh, like you don't have to uh, do anything to uh, prove the truth okay truth has its own power uh, it will you know only truth is going to you know is law of karma right 
if you are taking action from a place of uh, separation consciousness you are not going to get the result that you desire so when constantly you are not getting the result when you are not getting the success uh so there is no point you know then it's going to break away anyway uh, after a certain period of time it is just the ego that keeps holding that you know just because yes this is what is my belief from this is what i have learned from like my father or from my culture or from from my grandfather or maybe some ideal they have been following uh and that's not working you know if it is embedded in the separation consciousness that's not going to work that's not going to give uh, the success you know that's not going to give the result that they are desiring and uh, then natural it becomes natural for them to come back to the truth come back to the alignment with self love and the complete acceptance uh, of themselves the moment they completely accept uh, themselves it was like my, the moment i completely accepted my masculinity it became very easy for me to you know come ahead and show up <clears throat> and share my things before that i have been hiding uh, into my feminine body i was not uh, coming into my giving energy 